What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 12th Node.js tutorial in which I'm gonna show you what events and event emitter is in Node.js. So events are pretty much what we had in the traditional JavaScript on the browser and that is just you attach some events and assign a function, particular function with that and that event is fired whenever you want it so that's similar to the front-end javascript and that is the main reason of the node.js high speed as well because node.js is a single threaded language and that means it just has one thread to operate on so it cannot just split its tasks into multiple threads so for instance in java you have multiple thread supports and with Java what you can do is you can just create another thread of a same program and run some other code on that thread and run some other code on that thread so that kinda just lowers the load of your code and it makes your program a bit faster as well with node we don't have that but we have events which would do the kind of same thing so let's get started so I'm just gonna show you how to make use of events real quick in this video tutorial so let's just create a variable events require events and this is again an inbuilt module so you don't need to do much out there event emitter is require event oh no 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 this would be new events dot event e b e n t emitter and that's how you create an event emitter and this event emitter is nothing but just what would the node.js would need to fire your events so this would be used to create your events and then this would be just used to assign and fire them accordingly so Let's just create a simple event. Let's just say event emitter on my custom event event and a function out there. Let's just say console log event fired. All right. So now let's just take a look in the terminal. Right no JS script twelve dot JS oh no script dot uh, JS okay war events E V E N T S require E V E N T S all right so we have a typo out there no this is event emitter double t yeah here you go okay so as you can see nothing happens right now because we are technically doing nothing but just assigning this event so the equivalent of this a simple equivalent on the front end would be like document query selector your tag whatever the tag it is on click a function here so that's pretty much what we are doing in here so in here what we are saying this is the event name sorry this one is the event name right there and this one is the function which would be fired and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it and then what we can do is I can just set a timeout of two seconds let's say and then I can fire this event and to fire this event what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write event emitter dot emit and the event name out here so my event name is my custom event so if I take a look in the terminal now after two seconds as you can see this console logs event fired and what if you have your custom parameters in here or the arguments let's just say this is my arg1 and arg2 
and I'm just gonna say arg1 plus arg2 right there and to just pass your custom arguments you just have to pass them alongside your emit event name and then your arguments so this is my string one and this is and string two so again let's just load this and after two seconds it shows me string one and string two so that's how basically how you create an event and work with event emitter and just emit some events and you could actually attach multiple functions to a same event name so you can have like argument 3 again here and this function would be fired whenever there are three arguments to your function uh, if I do something like argument 3 and probably not I guess this would be fired anyways so let's just take a look so if I just do like and string 3 as well so let me just take a look what happens alright so you see that both of the events fired so yeah so that's not kind of what you'd expect in Java so yeah so both of the events would fire and since this one doesn't have a third argument to store so it doesn't show that up so you can attach multiple uh, functions to the same event name and uh, pretty much all of the events would fire off so I'll just leave that to a single event right now a single function for a single event and yeah so that's pretty much how you just create a basic event and uh, just run it so that's all for this tutorial and I'll see you then guys in the next one